Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to Operation Freedom Briefings. The goal of these briefings and my weekly radio show, Operation Freedom, is to provide you information the bought-off, lamestream, fake media tentacle of the deep state will not provide. As far as the radio show, it's free, and it's every Sunday, and it's broadcast live from Wham Talk 1600 Studios in the People's Republic of Ann Arbor, Michigan. How to tune in. We have listeners from all 50 states, and usually... Every week, we either have downloads or folks that listen live from over 60, 60 countries around the world. The way you tune in is you go to DaveJanda.com, hit the Listen Live button. That will take you to Wham Talk 1600 streaming service. Hit play, and you're part of our family, and you're there for great analysis, great guests, and again, information you're not going to get through that lamestream media. Today's topic is the persecution of General Michael Flynn and the deep state's panic. Now, many people outside that window in the People's Republic of Ann Arbor say that it's pure hyperbole. It's, It's over the top to say that the powers that be, the globalist syndicate, the New World Order crowd, the deep state, whatever you want to call them, that they are, would persecute anyone. <laughs> well, those who say that are showing and revealing their ignorance on so many fronts. But a very clear example that has been in front of the public for the past four years is the persecution of General Flynn and his family. And frankly, every American. You see, General Flynn is not just fighting for his freedom or his family's freedom. General Flynn, his family, and his phenomenal attorney, Sidney Powell, who I believe if it were not for Sidney, General Flynn would already be in prison, an innocent man. They're fighting for his freedom, but they're also fighting for your freedom and my freedom and every American's freedom because they're taking on the system. And in the process, they've exposed the underbelly of not the rule of law, but what the deep state has created, the rule of persecution. It's been ongoing for four years. The folks that have been viewers on this channel, the folks that have been the subscribers on my platform at DaveJanda.com are the most knowledgeable people in the world about what has occurred with General Flynn and what has occurred with the deep state and them trashing the rule of law of which this country was built upon and trashed it into their rule of persecution. You know, the deep state will show their hand every once in a while. And Nancy Pelosi, and I'm not talking about the (laughs) getting caught with her hair situation, which was obviously not only hypocritical, but I mean, even outlined to even the most, what do we want to call them, the biggest zealots in the People's Republic of Ann Arbor about how hypocritical these deep state puppets really are. She, She had another statement recently, and it was reported by the Washington Examiner. But this goes to the heart of their rule of persecution. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi stated she believed President Trump and his allies are, quote, enemies of the state, end quote. She really believes that. And so do the other deep state puppets. And so do the handlers of the deep state puppets at the highest levels. I mean, let's face it. The Obamas, the Bushes, the Clintons, the Romneys, the Ryans, the Pelosi's, the Schumer's, the Nadler's, the Schiff's. They're middle-level puppets. 
Soros, middle level puppet. His people hate it when I say that. Let me say it again. George Soros, not the top of the food chain, middle level deep state puppet. And the top of the food chain is that banking syndicate, those families that run the banking syndicate, the Pacers, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, Lazards, the Pincus, the Warburgs, the Loeb's. That's getting toward the top of the food chain right there. And they have decided that anyone and everyone who speaks out against the deep state, well, we they have a little surprise, a little, well, just a, a little comeuppance for you. And the person that they targeted very early on in the Trump administration was General Flynn. Why? Because General Flynn had previously shown that he was going to blow the whistle and did blow the whistle on the nefarious activities the Obama administration had been in, including Benghazi, including the weapons running operation, including the weaponization, funding, training of that benevolent group in the Middle East called ISIS. That's right, ISIS. They were worried that he was going to actually investigate the financial issues in the medical industry, or excuse me, military industrial complex. He probably would have done the mili medical industrial complex too if given the chance. They didn't want that. He was going to hold the intelligence agency's feet to the fire. And they were worried that he was going to blow the whistle on their illegal surveillance activities. So they needed to silence him. So they decided they were going to persecute him. They set him up. They framed him. They created documents that were lies. And they thought that was their way of silencing him. The latest developments, our subscribers on my platform are well aware. We spoke about it on this past Sunday's radio show. Right now, we're in a bit of a holding pattern until September 29th. As you know, in May of this year, the Justice Department, after an independent review by a former, well, by a prosecutor, but also that prosecutor had a 10-year history of being an FBI agent. He reviewed the documents. And long story short, Jeff Jensen showed that and determined that without an equivocal doubt, General Flynn was an innocent man. That there was prosecutorial misconduct. That the evidence had been fabricated against him. That he was, and his team, was prevented from knowing that the government had what was called exculpatory evidence, evidence that showed that he, in fact, was innocent. It also showed that, well, the predicate for investigating him was bogus. There was none. And the Department of Justice in May of 2020 dismissed the charges. Now, usually when that happens, in the, with the Constitution, the executive branch, the Department of Justice, is only the only branch that can bring charges against an individual on criminal matters. So the Department of Justice said, we're out. He's an innocent man. No more charges, no charges, they're dropped. At that point, the judicial branch of the government steps in and says, well, if the, there is no prosecutor because there is no crime, and if the defendant, and in this case, General Flynn said, yeah, I, I agree, and this is what I've been saying to the Justice Department for years, and General Flynn agreed. So if there is no prosecutor and the defendant agrees, 
There is no case. The deep state panicked with that. And what they did is they called on their puppet, Judge Emmett Sullivan, to prolong the situation. Why? Because the deep state was petrified that General Flynn was going to enter the battlefield before the election. And rightfully so. He was a truth teller. The deep state despises truth. They don't want to go anywhere near it. In fact, they, they are like cockroaches. They run from it. So, Judge Sullivan decided that he was going to bring his buddy and another deep state buddy, a former Judge Gleason from New York, who had already been on record as saying, oh, the Department of Justice is overstepping their grounds by dropping this case. Interesting, when Gleason was a judge, he actually ruled that the Justice Department does have say. In fact, they have the only say whether somebody can be prosecuted or not. But all of a sudden, he got his cord pulled by the deep state. And he started to say something different. So Judge Sullivan said, I'm going to bring this guy in. Where does that fit into criminal law? As General Flynn's fantastic attorney, Sidney Powell, and the Department of Justice said, this is off the charts. So they filed a nuclear option in the legal world, something called a writ of mandamus. And they took it to the D.C. Circuit Court. And three judges heard it in a decision of two to one. They decided in July, General Flynn's right. Sidney Powell's right. Department of Justice is right. Sullivan, you're off base. Dismiss the case. That's what you're supposed to do. There is no prosecutor. The defendant agrees. Come on. Whoa. And then the one judge who descended, and reportedly Sullivan, asked for all the judges to hear it. And that's what happened on August 11th. So 10 judges heard it. And then they came in with a decision, almost three weeks later, on August 31st, that said, well, and not one of the judges, by the way, said that the charges should not be dismissed. It's already been done. But what they said was, well, you know, Judge Sullivan really should uh, be able to, he should decide this, to, to, to dismiss the charges in an expeditious fashion. Uh, I believe the exact words they what they said would proceed with appropriate dispatch, which meant, Sullivan, get off your butt. Dismiss the case and let this go. So then Sullivan stepped in and said, well, I'd like to start holding some hearings on September 21st about wow, how I should handle this and about briefs and enter the great Sidney Powell on September 4th, along with the Justice Department said, stop, we're not sending more briefs, we're closing it, it's done. Have this friend of the court, Gleason, and by the way, early on, Judge Sullivan refused friend of the court briefs from people supporting General Flint at least 10 that I'm aware of, up to potentially 17, were, d were denied by Sullivan to support General Flynn, but he's going to take this one against him. Right. Bias? You bet. Being bought and paid for by the deep state? You bet. So on September 4th, General Flynn, through Sidney Powell, filed a motion for an expedited hearing on the dismissal. And Gleason submitted his, his friend of the court brief, which was a biased diatribe, is probably the kindest way I can put it, on September 11th. Judge Sullivan has now set the date for the hearing to dismiss the charges against General Flynn on September 29th. Now, what do I think is going to happen? Here's what I think is going to happen. Being the deep state puppet that Sullivan is, he's going to create a bit of a goat rodeo in the courtroom that day. 
He's going to expound about how he's oh, wringing his hands over whether, how, why he should drop the case. And oh, I, 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 yeah. Right, he's gonna and he's gonna give the bought off lamestream fake media another tentacle of the deep state, just as Sullivan's a tentacle of the deep state, ammo to use in the 24 hour news cycle. And then he's gonna have to make a decision. He will either dismiss the charges, as the Justice Department has stated, that or he will try to prolong this even further to keep General Flynn off the battlefield before the election. And if he tries that maneuver, you're going to have to have, uh, I don't know, the fastest stopwatch in, that's made in the world um, about the speed that it'll take Sidney Powell and the Department of Justice to file another writ of mandamus with the Z D.C. Circuit of Court to say, look, we told you this guy was trouble. We told you this guy was unreliable. You gave him another bite of the apple. Because let's face it, that whole decision about, well, let Judge Sullivan make the decision, that was, that was not about the Constitution. That was not about what's right for General Flynn or what's right for the American public or what's right for the, 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 the rule of law. It was about judges saving other judges when they've made bad decisions and covering for them. That's what that was. That was judges helping judge a judge. But I think they're pretty fed up at this point. And if Sullivan decides to make this a further goat rodeo and extend this, the speed Sidney Powell, the speed the Department of Justice goes back to the, to the circuit court will be incredible. You see, they want to deny General Flynn from coming back on the political battlefield at all costs. But Sullivan has used his last his last quarter in the in the slot. It's over. He knows it. But he's just trying to 